morning. It's Thursday morning and I was gonna go take Roxy out for a walk, but it's now raining. So I'm gonna go to the gym first instead and hopefully it dies down a little bit by the time I get home. If it doesn't, I'll just have to brave the rain because that's just the way it is. But I am prepping for my Hendu because I'm going away for my Hendu this weekend. I'm leaving tomorrow. I need to double check what time I'm leaving to see what I can do today and tomorrow. But basically I wanted to show you like what I've been doing to prep for my Hendu, the things that I've picked up because we've got like a fancy dress night. So I got some things on Depop for a costume. I say a costume, but I basically went for something that I would feel lovely in, but it's also fitting of the theme because I didn't want to wear something horrible and feel gross on my Hendu. I happily do that for Halloween or other things, but I feel like for your hen you want to feel glamorous and young and pretty and all those things. So I'll show you the outfit I chose and um, also just some other things that I've picked up for the hen because I've got a few like, I don't know, beauty things. What am I doing with my arm? A few beauty things and just stuff to prepare for the hen do. And like kind of my mindset and routine at the minute. I know I've been talking about it a little bit, but I want to sort of share a little day in the life. And then I can show you the hen do when I go on it next week in a video coming soon. It's a bit of a weird time for me as a content creator because I have a lot going on with a wedding. And if you've ever got married before, um, you know that there's, there's lots to do before the wedding and there's lots of things going on. There's like stag, Hindu or bachelor and bachelorette party. Um, there's lots of kind of like things to do and lists to tick off. So it's a bit more complicated for me to create content like usual because work is a bit, especially because I'm self-employed. If I was just going to work every day, I could just go to work, come home and separate the two. But it's kind of like this. So I have to like plan things. But I just thought I'd share with you what I'm up to. So I'm gonna go to the gym now. I'm having my protein this morning. Absolutely loving having higher protein. I know I, would I said I would share an update. That's something I've changed hugely in my diet. And it has actually been such a game changer for me. It's transformed my um, hunger levels. I mentioned that when I wasn't eating high protein or when I wasn't thinking about it, I would regularly get quite hungry, like insatiably hungry between meals. So between breakfast and lunch, I'd be like basically at 12, I'm having lunch because I'm starving. And then in the middle of the afternoon, I'd feel so hungry that I'd have snacks. And then I would, before dinner, be like, oh my God, I'm so hungry, I need to eat something now. And it was this kind of, it felt like lots of ups and downs and ups and downs. And I wasn't really paying attention to it because I was just like, that's just how I've always been. But I think maybe I've always been that way because I've never focused on eating higher protein. And maybe that's kind of like a nutrition lesson that I never really picked up on or learnt or thought about. Because even if you're not vegan, it's easy just to forget to incorporate protein into each of your meals. Um, and I just have found it so much easier to maintain hunger levels. And even if I'm hungry, like last night we did our pre-wedding photo shoot, which is really exciting. We went to Gudrivi and we didn't get home till like half nine. So I didn't eat dinner till half nine. And past me would have honestly been in the worst mood. I would have been like, I would have been quiet in the car on the way home. I would have had such low energy. I would have got something on the way home, like, you know, quick to eat from the shop or something. And it would have put me in a really horrendous mood and made me feel really horrible. I didn't feel like that at all. I felt like I just had a normal level of hunger. Like I feel hungry, I could eat and I'm excited for dinner. I'm looking forward to eating dinner because I am hungry. But it was, it's like a maintainable hunger. I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody, but it felt like human beings are meant to be hungry, but they're not meant to have these crazy lip dips and lows and, and those kind of dramatic changes. So yeah, if you have any of those things, you get mood swings or really extreme dips in hunger or not, I don't think I was dipping in energy. It was more that I used to just feel like hangry. Try incorporating more protein. Really recommend form protein, more tofu if you're vegan, protein bars. I love the ridiculous ones and the Trek ones and the My Vegan ones. So yeah, really give it a go and see if it makes a difference. Even if it's as simple as having a protein shake with your breakfast or putting protein powder in your smoothie or something and see if it helps you out. But I'm gonna stop chatting and we're gonna go to the gym. <laughs> 
just got done in the gym. I did upper body today. I was gonna do HIT because I'm following Natasha Ocean's guide and it was upper body and HIT, but I just didn't feel like it. So I'm really being intuitive with exercise. And instead I did five minute on the treadmill at the start and at the end to warm up and cool down. Definitely trying to walk a lot more. Definitely not putting so much pressure on myself with like, I don't know, really trying to get super strong or overdo it in the gym because I think people put too much emphasis on the gym for looking a certain way or, you know, I don't know. There's a lot of emphasis on like gym, gym, gym. When in reality, like the gym is great, but having overall health and wellness, like just standing up more through your day, going on walks through your day, being more active in general in your lifestyle, like getting out and doing things, that's going to improve your health, I think, a lot more than um, going to the gym every day. Like if you, I feel like it's a balance of the two. And I think when I first started going back to the gym and doing more, I was just focusing on gym, gym, gym. And then the rest of the day, I'd sit on my computer and then I wouldn't walk or go anywhere and I think actually just going to the gym when you're able to when you can fit it in when it's convenient and then also incorporating stuff in your lifestyle like you know I'm living in Cornwall going for sea swims going for walks with my dog getting up through the day and um making sure I'm not sitting down for too long those are going to have more of an impact on your health and wellness than anything else and having a balance of everything so I definitely got a much better approach I used to really be like pressured into thinking I need to go five days a week to the gym and now I'm just like I'm gonna go when I'm able and some days it's six days some days it's three days some days it's one day or none but generally speaking I'm just yeah I'm just trying to every day think about being active and getting up and doing something enjoyable and that's what it's about I'm watching over there that people are crossfit running they always look so fit and healthy but I just can't make the plunge into doing CrossFit because you have to do like a six week, is it six weeks? Or six session like beginner's course or something. Seems quite intense, but maybe one day, <laughs> maybe post wedding I'll give it a go. I really want to get into um, yoga again. That's something really important to me. So I really want to get into yoga once a week because I need that, I need that calm in my life. I'm going to go home, I'm going to have my protein shake and then I'm going to walk Bobby. Maybe I'll walk her later. I'm not really sure yet. I have vlogged for a few hours. I apologise. But I've come upstairs because I've ticked off a load of things on my to-do list for the wedding. We've sent over our RSVPs to the caterers. I've counted up dietary requirements, all of that kind of stuff. Alex is um, doing his music. So I made the playlist the other day for the getting ready and for like the DJ set between when the band is like playing their sets and also the wedding breakfast. I'm out of breath because I just ran from the office up here. <laughs> um, what else did I just do? I did something else, wedding stuff. It's all ticked off basically. Everything that we can do today, it's done so I can feel relaxed for the Hindu and like everything is like dealt with. And then next week we're gonna be doing the seating plan, the official final seating plan, which I don't think it's gonna take very long because it's pretty clearly divided. And then I'm also gonna try and make a few more signs. And I might vlog that for you if you want me to, because last time I did it with my friends, this time it might just be with my mum and my sister. But I think I need to make one for our sweets. So we've got quite a few jars. My mum's got jars, my sister's got jars, and we're gonna get some sweets. Alex has ordered loads of vegan sweets to put in the jars. And then I'm gonna make some signs saying like, eat me and like cute little things. And maybe get some ribbon or some stuff to put around the jars. I'm also going to clean up those bottles at the front that I've showed you that we found when we demolished the shed and maybe think about what we could do with those. I'll speak to the florist maybe and send her photos and see if she can incorporate them somehow. And yeah, I just, I feel a little bit better. I was feeling quite like overwhelmed because I felt like I was having to tick things off and I hadn't ticked them off. So that's done. I am going to pack now. I'll show you a couple of things that I got on Depop because they're quite exciting <laughs> for the Hindu. So we're having a 90s themed evening, one of the evenings, and I am going dressed as Cher from Clueless because I want to wear white for the whole weekend. And I looked up like 90s outfits and I thought of Britney Spears. And then I thought of um, Cher from Clueless because she's iconic and she has iconic outfits. And I remember that amazing white outfit that she walks down the stairs in. And then she, her dad is like, you're not going out dressed like that. Or Paul Ryder says, oh, you're not gonna let her go out dressed like that. And he's like, who gave you that dress? Or where did you get that dress? And she's like, daddy, it's Calvin Klein. And <laughs> then he's like, 
what does he say? It's something along the lines of, go put something over it. And she's like, duh. And she goes and gets her shirt. So I got this on Depop. It's basically a pearl bag. It was 15 pounds. I think it was from someone who wore it for their graduation. And I'm gonna use this also as my wedding bag. So it's a cute bag and I can put my foam lipstick powder on my wedding day and it can just live somewhere. Obviously I'm not gonna be carrying a bag on my wedding day, but it means that my stuff is in one place. And I just thought how fun. And I actually really love, I know it's like kind of impractical, but I actually quite like this bag. I think it's very fun and cute for future things, fancy dress, just for like fun nights out. It's adorable. So we've got that. And then I also got the shirt from Depop. This is originally from Misguided. It's brand new. I think this was literally 10 pounds, but it's the exact shirt. It's got a solid collar and then it's mesh and see-through and then the solid uh, cuffs on the sleeves. So it's immaculately the same. And then I've got a little linen dress. She wears like a bodycon white dress. I knew I would never wear that again. So I wasn't going to buy something that I'm only going to wear once. So I got myself a linen like float, it's not floaty, it's fitted, it's very fitted, but it's got like a little floaty rah-rah kind of skirt at the bottom. Much more me, I can wear this on my honeymoon, I can wear this year after year in the summer, and it's got like a little ruched back, and it looks gorgeous on. So there's my little outfit for the fancy dress night, and I also got a gorgeous, I got a gorgeous necklace. Um, she wears a daisy necklace, she wears quite a lot of daisy necklaces in that movie. And I got this on Etsy and this brand, Cosmic Chains. Honestly, the loveliest girl. She sent it to me express delivery because I voiced my concern about it arriving on time. And look how gorgeous this is. It's got little daisies. I wanted to get something again that I would wear again. And the one that Cher wears is a little bit choker and a little bit too 90s for me to wear again. So I got this and it's adorable. And yeah, I'm so excited. I'm gonna pack my stuff. I've got a going out outfit. I've got pajamas for my bridesmaids. Everything's sorted. Yesterday, did I say this to you? We picked up our, I don't think I did. I picked up my wedding ring. I'm not gonna show it to you, but got it from a jewelers in Truro and they made it. So they made it to fit my engagement ring because my engagement ring um, sits quite low. I can't wear a straight wedding ring because it would damage they would damage one another. So I've got a wishbone shaped ring that is specifically designed to fit around this ring and it looks amazing. I'm so happy with it. And yeah, I'm just gonna pack exactly what I need. So each specific outfit and the shoes, and then I just need an outfit for the daytime and what I'm wearing Friday tomorrow when we leave, cause we'll be traveling. So I'll probably pack like a travel outfit. I'll wear a travel outfit and then pack something for when we get there and then the evening and stuff. We're going to Bath, by the way. It was meant to be a surprise. Uh, I'm excited, I know though, because it kind of eases my anxiety, but um, my sister accidentally told me because I said, oh, what's the plan for Friday and Sunday? And she was like, oh, we're going on this, uh, this time on Friday and then we'll be leaving Bath at four on Sunday. And I was like, or oh, whatever time she said. And I was like, oh my gosh, you've said what, where we're we going? And she's like, oh my God, but it's fine. I'm wearing white the whole weekend as well. I know that's really cheesy, but I'm wearing my lovely white dress. Um, I wore that last night. We had a pre-wedding photo shoot with our wedding photographer and it was very cute. And I wore that dress last night and um, it's a dress that I wore in Provence quite a few times. It's like my favorite dress, honestly. It's from Faithful the Brand. So um, I'm gonna wear that. I'm gonna wear a lovely silky dress for one of the nights out. Anyway, I'm gonna get my bag and start packing. <laughs>
is where I'm currently at. As you can see, everything is white. I've packed all of my outfits and I need to get my the rest of my knickers. Those are the bridesmaids pyjamas. This bag I think I'll put inside this bag so that will have like all my essentials, my wallet, makeup and whatever and it will go inside this bag with some other things. I always like to take like a bigger bag of like the things that I need obviously on the day. Only issue is I have got a steamer and a hairdryer but what I'm thinking is we're going to double off on that so I'm going to message Charlie and be like don't bring a hairdryer, don't bring a steamer, I'm bringing one and I feel like all of us could just share well I don't know maybe between four we need two but that's going to take up extra space I'm trying to figure out where it's going to go because I've also got to pack my toiletries and my makeup which is here hey Bob but my makeup obviously um I need to I want to use that tomorrow morning this is my outfit I think that I'm going to wear tomorrow but I also have no idea which is fine because I can just get dressed in the morning and figure it out and I've just got to figure out Sunday's outfit it is a little bit difficult not knowing what we're doing because I usually dress based on what we're doing because I'm all about comfort and not just about comfort but also just I don't know I just like to know what I'm doing so I can dress appropriately because if I'm out all day I want to make sure I look nice but I'm comfortable I don't know on Sunday are we going to be spending the day there are we going home I need to just figure these things out before basically to make sure I know because I want an outfit for Sunday and I was thinking oh, I'll wear that lovely floral dress because even though it's not white it's got like a white base I need you to have a white with everything like that's white enough um sorry I'm gonna sneeze <coughs> oh! um and all right yeah so Sunday and then obviously we're traveling back home again and then I'm like are we going to a hotel are we staying in a house I don't know so like are we going to be lounging about and having like cozy time together if so do I need to bring like cozy clothes because obviously I've got the wedding pajamas but they're like satin slinky am I going to be feel comfortable in like short shorts am I just gonna sometimes want you know sometimes you just want to wear like long pajama bottoms and cover up because you just don't want to have your legs out I don't know if I'm really overthinking this but that's probably what I'm doing so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for a walk with Roxy Alex has just nipped out and I think, yeah, I'm going to go for a walk with Roxy and then clear my mind because I'll probably have clarity um, because I haven't taken her out today and it's raining still. I waited all day to see if it would stop raining. It hasn't. So I'm just going to go anyway. And then when I come back, hopefully I've decided. This is another option, this dress. But I wore it really recently. You know when you wear something recently, like I wore this in Brussels on my little trip, but it is very comfortable. I'm not sure because I literally just wore it and I don't know if I want to wear it literally like two weekends after for another kind of event sort of thing this is very nice but then is it a bit dressy like I don't know what we're doing I think I need to message my sister get her to give me more information and then I can finish packing and then I'm gonna have a bath this evening I'm gonna put a hair mask in my hair overnight so that I can go to the gym in the morning bright and early and then I can use the air wrap and I don't have to use it I don't like have to properly use it again I can just touch it up so I don't have to spend because it takes me like an hour so I don't have to spend ages over the weekend doing my hair I feel like I'm just getting anxious for no reason I think it's just the build-up it's like the attention being on you it's a bit like oh so yeah but I'm also very excited it's like an anxious excited it's also because it's like I've been working a lot but it's also coming to the period of time where I do have to start thinking less about work and more about the wedding which is a good thing because I do need to slow down a bit and I do need to remind myself that slowing down and having slower periods of your life is a positive thing. It's a good thing and you don't always have to be going, going, going. And that is what life is about. You have some periods where you're busy, some periods where you're less busy and some periods where you need to slow down because of stuff going on. And this is just one of those periods and I just have to accept it and allow it and just keep doing what I'm doing, keep working. But I don't need to push myself. Like, I don't know why I always think that I have to work and push myself and go for it. Like I can just work and just, you know, do the the minimum that's needed of me. And then later on after the wedding, I can really like be inspired again. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up, have a big glass of water and go for a walk. <laughs> I'm back from my walk. I don't necessarily feel more clear minded. If it's very echoey, it's because um, Alex has removed, I'll show you in a second. He's removed the rug from underneath the table and he's hoovered under it and he wants to clean the rug so it's like less it's crazy the difference that makes like it's so echoey in here because there's not that padding um why am i doing this <laughs> i don't necessarily feel less cloudy but i think if i eat dinner 
then I go upstairs, I can just pick something. I think on Sunday, realistically, I've had two nights out, I'm gonna be like, I wanna be comfortable. So I just pick a nice, comfy outfit that also feels good. So maybe something I wear often enough that I know that I'm gonna feel good in it. I'm gonna make a stir fry with tofu. Alex should be home shortly, so that's the plan. And I'm gonna put all that crap away from lunch and play Beyonce's new album because it is absolutely amazing. Keeps me going. <laughs> Here is my packing. Here are the gifts. The little pajamas. Here it works. Huh? Did it all work? Yes. I <laughs> just fell asleep on the window seat because I think I'm tired and stressed. Anxious. Why am I anxious? Why? I should be excited. Though no. Listen to me and to you. Shouldn't should your feelings. Your feelings are valid, whatever they are. I'm gonna have a bath because that's gonna make me feel relaxed. I'm getting stupidly worked up about what I'm gonna wear on Sunday and I don't know why. I feel like it's just... Wait, what's your toothbrush of choice? This one. I'll we'll take this one then. Okay, and yeah. I'll keep this one. Yeah. And would you put any bubble bath in the bath? I don't know if we have any. Okay. Just get it running. Just don't fall asleep in it. <laughs> um, I think sometimes this happens if you get anxious is there's like one thing that you can't do or make a decision on it for me right now it's what i'm wearing on sunday which doesn't even matter sunday we're not even doing anything in particular i don't think from what i can gather and my sister's like just wear whatever you want just like comfy casual whatever and i can't i have a whole cupboard and i can't pick something to wear why i don't get it so i think i'm just gonna do it tomorrow <laughs> and this one may be an option. This nice dress, my nice linen stripy dress. I don't know. I think I need to decide what I'm wearing and what shoes I'm wearing and then I can pick it. And I need to like get my um, toiletries gathered so I can pack that. I don't know why I'm talking so much about packing. It literally is so easy to pack stuff. So I'm gonna have a bath. And I'll show you what I put in the bath. Ooh, what candle's this? Hope and Bloom. Natural Soy Wax Cozy Nook Candle Company. Oh yes, I remember these. Oh, I was gonna get these candles for the wedding. Maybe I should order some. Yeah. Probably too late now. I wanted it all to smell nice. This is called Sunny Days. Lovely. So I do have that thing over there, the Wren. But you put it in at the end. So, because there's not no bubble bath, I just put a little bit of shower gel in. Because okay. it creates some bubbles. Because we run out of bubble bath. <gasps> Don't dare. So, I always grab a mask. I don't know if there are any masks in here. Hmm. So, I will wash my face with my Biosense Squalene Elderberry Jelly Cleanser. And down here, I have all of my extra products so this is just my PR and you'll be proud because I know that I mentioned to you that I was trying to avoid PR I haven't been gifted skincare PR in so long this hasn't grown because I've just been saying no which is wonderful so we need to find a mask SPF micro exfoliant I'm going to use this one Evolve Organic Beauty Miracle Mask
space wall. A nice little toner, souping toner. I think I might double up on my mask and put this one on as well. And then what's this that I got out? That's a cleansing mud, don't need that. I'm going to use my Sukin moisturizer. And I usually use this retinal one, but I want something a bit more like, I don't know, I don't like to use that if I've done a mask, basically. Um, yeah. Oh, actually. No, I won't use that because I'm doing a mask. Yeah, that'll be it. This is the hair mask that I'm going to use. And I'll leave it on overnight. So Pucker has sent me a new tea. This is called Breathe In with Eucalyptus and it smells amazing. I've never had a eucalyptus tea, but thank you Pucker. This is just what I need and this came today and I feel like it's a sign. <laughs> I actually even looked at my tea and thought, I'm running out, I need to get some more Pucker tea. <laughs> My bath is ready for me, looking delightful. I'm going to have this bath, then I'm going to get into bed and I'm gonna have a good night's sleep and I'm gonna look forward to my day tomorrow and I will vlog it. I don't actually know how much I'll end up vlogging because it's always weird vlogging with people who don't do YouTube and I'm nervous about them being like, no, but, You've probably seen them all on my channel before at some point. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on my Hindu. <laughs> Bye.